So there's been a lot of discussion on whether Navigate on Autopilot, when it takes an exit, uh, knows or understands to stop at the next intersection that you arrive at. And I wanted to do a video to determine what it's actually doing. Uh, it appears to be just slowing down based upon the distance of the ramp. Uh, and I don't think it's recognizing stop signs or red lights, but uh, here's a bunch of different uh, exits. So here's the first exit ramp that I tested. It's about 1,500 feet, and uh, you'll see it does seem to stop right when it approaches uh, the intersection. 70 cars are passing me left and right. Okay, here we go. Let's see if it takes it. Oops, took it all by itself does jump a little quickly, then it starts counting down. Now there's no one behind me, so I'm going to see what it does here. Uh, everyone's saying it knows to stop at the first intersection, and it's slowing down, slowing down. Um, and autopilot navigation complete and it has come to a stop now what I'm very curious what it does here press accelerate to resume I think it just comes to a stop and it is not going to start up uh, I'm at a red light uh, it normally would have um, gotten closer to that car uh, and everyone's thinking that it knows to stop at the first intersection that it comes to but I'm pretty confident that it just sort of goes to a dead stop here and it won't start up uh, when this light goes green and it doesn't. But do notice that when the car pulled away in front of me, I got a new message to resume cruise, press the accelerator pedal. That's pretty interesting. So I'm gonna, I got beeped from behind and I'm gonna go. So this exit ramp is about a thousand feet and it ends with uh, another red light. And uh, we've got another exit coming up. I'm in the exit lane here, which is the key. You need to, you need to have a lot of room. Put the blinker on by itself to take the exit and it's taking the exit all by itself. Very nice, very nice. Now here's the countdown. Let's see how it does here. It's slowing down dramatically um, and telling you it's going to take over. It's got an exit right here and it's just eventually going to come to a stop. So it just came to a stop. Um, it just basically always comes to a stop, I think. <laughs> So this next exit is very short. It's only around 600 feet and it deposits you onto a parallel access road. The uh, exit I have to take up here is a little funky uh, and I'm curious how it does. That's a lane change to get into the exit lane. So this is a pretty uh, short ramp, exit ramp. I'm curious how it does. It's coming up pretty soon. I'm going to throttle down to the speed limit. And uh, it should be coming up in a few seconds. took the exit, put the blinker on, it steers all by itself, it's really cool, now it's slowing down, uh, yeah, it's slowing down dramatically, dramatically, uh, and uh, it, I think it recognizes the length of the ramp, and I'm starting to think that it has some basic knowledge of the ramp length and um, will come to a stop at the end of a ramp or the first like intersection or merge uh, on that ramp. 
So I've done this about three or four times now, and some of the exit ramps are a little lengthy. Autopilot kicks in, and it basically continues to drive, uh, and then eventually slows down. That ramp was real slow to a um, parallel side road, and it seemed like it was about to stop <laughs> within feet uh, of the uh, merge to the side road. I guess it's smart enough to know that if you don't take over, it is coming to a stop before it merges into other local traffic or uh, non-highway traffic. So this next exit is very short, 300 feet before a hairpin turn uh, that then uh, ends up on a at a red light. Okay, so here's another exit uh, coming up. Again, a very short exit ramp. So let's see how it, uh, how quickly it slows down. Wow, it's even slowing down on its way. Look at that, crazy. That disengaged uh, real quick. Uh, you can see it's a ultra curved road here. So this exit ramp has uh, a very long entrance, uh, 1,500 feet, uh, and then uh, slight curves uh, right and then left, and then it comes to a uh, trough collide. So I'm uh, 1.1 miles out. I'm curious if this is going to uh, change lanes because there's some uh, slow traffic in front of me. And it looks like it's not slowing down. I am in Mad Max mode. <laughs> and I normally would uh, pass these cars and then uh, get back into this lane before the exit. But it looks like... Tesla's Mad Max is not quite as crazy as uh, it might be advertised to be. Now on this lane, there's lots and lots of room after you actually exit before uh, a traffic light. And I want to show you, so it's taking this all by itself, I don't do anything. And then uh, the countdown like, well, the countdown's starting here, but I don't believe it is going to uh, come to a stop. It's going to go into autopilot. It must somehow sense that we're on a, there's no intersection and there's a long ramp. So in this case, it just goes into autopilot and uh, handles the ramp uh, fairly well. And then Never really comes to a stop. I believe it's going to just track the cars in front of me, and uh, well, it's a green light. So, uh, oh, look at that! It did know. So it must either know, and it's coming to a dead stop. I'm going to have to go because there's cars behind me. It's a green light. Um, it must know the exit ramp distance uh, and know to come to a stop. I don't know if it's reading a red light. I bet you it's using map information to know the exit ramp length. So here's another um, thing I want to try. This road uh, I'm navigating to this location here eventually has some uh, traffic lights but where I'm at now is a divided highway with exit ramps. And so I'm curious if it eventually um, disables, uh, or when it disables uh, on this road. I'm also curious, upcoming lane change. What is that for? Interesting. 
Roosevelt Boulevard. Oh, so it knows that in 3.6 miles, I'm, I'm really turning. This turns into a different road, which has stoplights. And um, it's calling it as an upcoming lane change, even though I'm just going to be staying straight. And it wants to get over to the right. I'll acknowledge it now that I've passed that car. Really curious when it's going to disable because I got a red light coming up, so I'm going to throttle down here to uh, five over. Oh, just okay. So it's just counting down, and so it does know that uh, we're about to approach a red light. I've got to believe the maps distinguish what part of a road so this road basically turns still a divided highway but it has its uh, first red light and uh, it turned turned everything off that's interesting thanks for watching if you want to see some of my other model 3 videos they're here in the top right I just created a new channel, Nick's Pickleball Life, for my pickleball adventures. The name's weird, but the game is great, and you can find games virtually everywhere. If you want six months of free supercharging, please use my referral code listed on the bottom left. My Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram accounts are listed on the bottom right. And please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.